It's taken me almost a month to finish this vlog. So I started this vlog just under four weeks ago. Now in this vlog, I was gonna do a big thank you. A thank you for watching my vlogs. Uh, a thank you for your support. Here's why. About a month ago, um, I managed to get on the radio station. This was local radio Cambridge 105 and also BBC Cambridge. Now the reason I managed to get onto these radio stations is because about a week before that, uh, I made a vlog featuring the wedding of Barbie and Ken which got really popular. Now a local newspaper picked it up and wrote an article about it. I had no knowledge of this. When a local radio DJ saw this article in the local paper, he reached out and contacted me. So whilst we were doing this radio interview, it went live on air, it went really well. It was fantastic, great experience. And then, the BBC called. Um, a lovely woman from the BBC gave me a phone call and asked me, are you up to do a live radio interview? And I said, yes. Mm. Early morning radio interview, so I had to be up really early and be prepared and ready. Um, so I did that interview, it went really well. Still talking about um, the wedding of Barbie and Ken, the vlog I made, and it was a really great experience. Now, I wanted to put all that into a vlog. It was gonna be a massive thank you for you all for um, watching my YouTube videos, um, thank you for liking them, and also, look what happened. I made it onto the radio station, and also I made it into the local news, and I just wanted to say thank you. So whilst I was filming this big thank you vlog, I started to feel a bit ill flu-like symptoms, coughing, headaches, sweating, so I had to put it on hold. So my wife ordered a COVID-19 test to do at home. Okay, brace yourself, you're about to see me do a test. I did at the moment, I'm registering her kit online. <coughs> oh, okay, open your mouth. So I need to do it a throat swap first and then the nasal one with the same thingy, okay? Open your mouth, please. Okay. Okay, then I do the nose now. So what I need to do, I need to go up here, okay? So they say this may feel uncomfortable, do not insert a swap any deeper if you feel a stronger resistance or pain. Here, let me know when it hurts, okay? Okay. So we did the test and then we posted it and then we waited a couple of days and it came back inconclusive. Great. So I don't even know if I've caught it or not. My wife actually thinks I had man flu. Yeah, it could have been man flu. We have read what we need to do on the NHS website if the test came back inconclusive. So treating it as COVID, me and the wife decided we're gonna stay at home. We're gonna do a complete quarantine at home. Luckily we had plenty of food, plenty of water, so we were fine. The sad thing is, I never got to finish my thank you vlog. And the annoying thing is, I was really liking the vlog. And I can't do it now because the continuity won't be same. So, here is the vlog I started just under a month ago. There's no way I'm wasting this vlog. The most amazing thing has happened. As you know, a week ago I did a vlog featuring Barbara and Ken. It has now been featured on the local news. Yep. I am truly gobsmacked. I made this vlog for a bit of a laugh, just to help us put a smile back on our face and give me something to do. So come with me and let me show you. So this is the uh, homepage of the Cambridge Independent. I scrolled down and there I am. 
This is brilliant. Oh, this is so cool. And the best thing is you can click on my vlog. There I am. Yes. This is amazing. Excellent. This is going to help me so much with the coronavirus. Okay. Let's forget about that now. Let's move on. So yeah, that was basically the start of the vlog, which I never got to finish. I just want to let you all know that I'm feeling much better now. Yes, I look a bit rough in this vlog. Also, this vlog also looks a bit rough. It's a quick vlog. It's not my best work. Uh, it's good to be up and around again. When you're ill, it's really annoying because I'm a person that likes to do things. And when you're stuck in bed, it's... So now I'm vlogging again. So for those who have not heard my radio interview, I'm going to put them at the end of the vlog. Once again, I just want to say thank you. Your kind word means a lot. Um, you telling your friends and family about me means a lot. And the support and the love that you show me has been amazing. So thank you so much. This is why I love my job. So here is the radio interviews. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I want to wish you all the best. Please, please, please be safe. And I hope you enjoy the interviews. Cambridge Independent. It looks like a local photographer has managed to capture the wedding of the maybe even the wedding of a century. I said I was going to try and track him down, didn't I? I have done. His name's Craig Hawkins, and he's from Hawkins Photography. Afternoon, Craig. Good afternoon. Thank you for that intro. That's fantastic, mate. <laughs> Lovely to speak to you. Now, am I right in thinking you specialise in weddings? I do. Yes, mainly just wedding photography. I really concentrate on. And for some amazing pictures on your website of all these various weddings oh, you've done you. around the St. Ives area particularly. There are some on the chapel on the bridge. It looks absolutely beautiful. Lockdown must have been really tough for you with no weddings to photograph. It's hard times at the moment. I mean, not just me, the whole wedding industry with this pandemic going around. It's, it's hard, but... We soldier on, we keep going, that's the main thing. And I love this solution you've come up with, tell me about this. <laughs> okay, on my YouTube channel, um, I do this behind the scenes, it's a great way to other potential clients to get to know me. Mm. So because I haven't had any weddings and I was a bit in the dumps, I thought, right, I'm going to do a behind the scenes wedding of Barbie and Ken. <laughs> Brilliant. Just for just for a laugh. <laughs> the vlog's great, and I love the way you've treated it, like you treat any of your usual weddings. You've got your posh shirt on, getting pictures of <laughs> the smallest of details, like the little plastic shoes, the bouquet, the ring and the cake. A lot of the humour in this comes from the fact that you've done it so straight. Oh, bless you. Um, yeah, I mean, that was the whole idea of, like, especially when I'm doing my proper behind the scenes, mm. is to start with the details, go for the rest of the day, the couple shoot, the last dance or a big um, wow photo at the end of the night. Uh, not the last dance, the first dance, I beg your pardon. And then just, I thought, right, well, if I just incorporate that mm. into the Barbie and Ken photo shoot, I thought, this might work, but I don't know, but I'm going to give it a go. And if people like it, they're going to like it and they're going to have a laugh. I saw the picture of a couple shoot in the newspaper last week, the two of them out in the garden. How were they at taking direction? Um, they were doing really well, yeah. I mean, I mean, sometimes they can be a little bit plastic, if you know what I mean, but... Um, but no, I mean, you just you just got to make them feel comfortable. You mean, I mean, I've got a, a list of really bad jokes, like children's jokes, and I start cracking those out, and I was doing that, and it's just like, they were so calm and relaxed, and I've got these lovely expressions on their, on their plastic faces, as we say. It's amazing. Did any joke go down particularly well with Barbie and Ken? Well, one of my favourite jokes is this one. Um, yeah. I went to the zoo the other day, yeah. and it only had one dog. Oh, 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 I think I know where you're going there. We don't need to hear any more of that one. Um, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> the vlog is absolutely amazing, though. The, the way you go about finding all these different settings, how important is the right setting, be it an everyday wedding or a wedding as big as Barbie and Ken? <laughs> well, what I usually do with my couples is I like to meet up about a month beforehand <laughs> and have a look at the setting. So on the day, I don't have to wander around and find these settings. So I always know a day beforehand. Now, 
the good thing about the Barbie and Ken wedding and the settings is basically my back door. It really is. Yes. So I already did my homework. And yes, settings is very important. At one point, you wedge Barbie and Ken in the door of a car, though. Now, that's <sighs> presumably to get this beautiful silhouetted shot of him in front of a son. Is oh, that mate, something yeah. you can do with your normal couples? Have you ever tried that? I've never tried it. If I did, I don't think they would um, recommend me to other potential clients if I trapped their legs in a door. <laughs> it was just for the silhouette shot, as you mentioned. Oh, and you finished with the first dance. You've got Barbie and Ken on this black background, s- surrounded by these gleaming white <laughs> lights. H- how on earth did you manage that? When I do um, the first dance, um, when the body goes, there's always, the, the lights always go down, the DJ halls have these wonderful laser lights, and I thought, right, I can't actually do that, but what I have is a load of Christmas tree lights. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not me telling the wife, me they're Christmas tree lights. Yeah, Christmas tree lights. Me and the wife went into our boxes, they were literally right at the bottom, which was annoying. We got them out and we just spread them all over the table just to create this romantic uh, starlight night for the first dance. And the vlog, as I say, absolutely amazing. How do we find you online? Um, I have a, a website, halkinsphotography.com. I have a Facebook page, Craig Halkins Photography. I also have a YouTube page, which is just Craig Halkins. That's the name of the channel. Uh, Instagram as well, Craig Halkins Photography. Basically all my name. Brilliant stuff. And I bet you can't wait to get back to actual weddings. Not that Barbie and Ken aren't real, of course. <laughs> I, I am looking forward to it. I mean, I've got um, a load of clients who had to obviously cancel and move the date or just cancel at the moment and they can't find a new date so like like I said when the old norm comes back it'll be a breath of fresh air oh thank you so much for talking to me this afternoon Craig Hawkins from Hawkins Photography thank you so much thank you take care I mean that's that's great Craig Hawkins from St Ives captures a wedding of the maybe even the wedding of the century the wedding of Barbie and Ken it's got me thinking though What's the strangest wedding, the most unusual wedding you've ever been to? Have, have you ever been to any particularly unusual weddings, Flo? I mean, I've only ever been to two weddings and I was bridesmaids of both of them. Oh, did you get a nice <laughs> little bride? Um, I'm imagining you as a very little Flo at the time. And now it's the BBC interview. Well, it looks like a St Ives photographer has managed to capture the wedding of the year. Maybe even the wedding of the century. It's the wedding of Barbie and Ken. Craig Hawkins is the man behind it all and joins us now. Craig, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm happy um, and I'm proud to say that you are on our show today. The man <laughs> behind the wedding of Barbie and Ken. Um, so I, I oh, am right. So I am right in thinking that that, that is your speciality. You specialise in weddings. Uh, that's my main bread and butter. Yeah, wedding photography. I'm a freelance. And what's lockdown uh, life been like for you, Craig, since since it all started? Uh, at the moment, it's really affected the wedding industry. Um, I mean, a lot of my clients have had to cancel and move the date or they're trying to look for a new date. So it's really hit hard. So you're based in St. Ives. What would you have been doing through May and, and June had lockdown and coronavirus not happened? Are there lots of weddings or would there have been lots of weddings? Oh, this would have been my peak season, to tell you the truth. I would have been rushed off my feet. Every weekend will be taken up by weddings and my weeks will be constantly editing now. At the moment, I am just making funny uh, YouTube videos just to keep people entertained at the moment. Well, you've certainly done that with your um, solution of photographing Barbie and Ken's wedding. (laughs) Um, Tell me about that and how it came about. Okay, on my YouTube channel, I do uh, behind the scenes. Uh, The reason I do this is a good opportunity for potential clients to see what I'm like on the wedding day or what's it what's the venue like on a wedding day so i do these behind the scenes now as i said before with the pandemic going on all my weddings have now been moved back or cancelled so i was in a bit of a bit of a downer so i thought well what can i do just to have a bit of a laugh and make a funny video so i came up with the idea of photographing barbie and ken on their wedding day okay uh for people who want to see it they'll have to search for for craig is it craig hawkins yeah, Craig Halkins, that's correct. Okay, if they search for you and, and your YouTube channel, they'll no doubt see it. Tell me a little bit about the shoot then. 
for Barbie and, and Ken. Were they, you know, were they good at taking direction? They weren't bad. I mean, some of the expressions on their face were a little bit plastic, if you know what I mean. But apart from that, it was all good. Um, the location we use, I'm, I'm really quite lucky where I live, so we can use the communal area downstairs. I've got a nice balcony. So the location was really perfect for, the, uh, for Barbie and Ken's wedding shoot. Now, the shots look amazing. How important is it to find the right setting? Oh, it's really important. I mean, with my actual clients, um, what I do, I'm, I meet up about a month before the wedding so we can go around the venue so I can do a nice recce and get my eye in. Now, the good thing about Barbie and Ken, it's, it's basically downstairs. It's not far. So I just use the communal area, my actual living room, sorry, dining room and my balcony. So, yeah, it's very important. OK, now I understand that at one point in, in Barbie and Ken's photo shoot for their wedding, you, you wedge Barbie and Ken in the door of a car to get a silhouetted shot of, of them in front of the sun. It, I guess that's a technique, that's correct. That, you know, a bit of a sort of, you know, technique, you, technique you've used before in, in real life. I have to be honest, that's the first time I've ever done it. And if I ever did it with my actual uh, clients, uh, I don't think they'd be very happy with me. It was just They would if the shot was said. good, Craig. If the shot if the shot was the winning shot, they'd do anything. Yeah, I they? mean it was it was a crack I tell you what, it was a winning shot. I will, I will admit, but if I did that with my clients, oh they would never recommend me to other people. But I just did it, as you said, for just for the silhouette shot. Okay. my next question I, I, I guess is a serious question. When are yeah. you likely to get back to f- photographing actual weddings again. Paul Truthfully, Craig. mate, it looks like in another two or three months. Two or three months. I mean, yeah, that's the tough one, isn't it? And, and obviously we're talking to you yeah. and, and getting the perspective of, of wedding photography, but you spare a thought as well for people who had weddings planned themselves that had to cancel them, that, that couldn't get married. I mean, I've had brides on the phone, it was, uh, a couple of them in tears just because they had to move. I mean, it's no one's fault, but... They they had the hassle of rearranging and they're, and they're trying to look for a new date. I mean, bless them. As soon as the old norm comes back, it'll be a breath of a breath of fresh air. Okay, thank you. And and um, just finally, are you getting clients rebooking? I mean, are, is, how's your book looking, for, for instance, for twenty twenty one? It's looking full. It's looking good. To tell you the truth. Um, I've got also a few weddings uh, happening at the end of the year. So some of them have found dates at the end of this year and hopefully they can still go ahead but most of them have moved to 2021 now yeah uh craig hawkins is the man behind uh, photographing barbie and ken's wedding um the, <laughs> you can search for the pictures and especially look out for that that silhouette one and um, we can confirm that the first dance that barbie and ken had after you'd photographed them after they'd had the meal was <laughs> It had to happen, didn't yes, it, Craig? that was their first dance song. It was the first dance, yeah. Uh, Craig Hawkins, good to talk to you. Thank you for being such fun. Thank you, and uh, all Craig, the best with so your... Thank you your show. You're welcome. All the best with your, your wedding photography. I know this is not my best vlog I've made, but if you still want to give me a like and a subscribe, please do, and you can do it right here. And I promise the other vlogs will be better. All the best.